How's it going vigilantes? Welcome back to a brand new Arrow video. Now in today's fairly kind of quickish update because there's not a whole massive bunch to go over. I'm sure you may have heard of the uh, synopsis for the premiere episode but we'll go over that anyway in a couple of minutes. But there's just a few other things I want to discuss in terms of the hype that is coming uh, in just like well not so long away. It's coming back October 15th. And in terms of hype we've still had a couple of things that really kind of excited me in terms of what could be going on in the crossover but I'll get into all of that in a second. But also uh, uh, episode 3 synopsis makes it sound very very interesting and I want us to all dive into that but before we do get into any of that be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to stay more up to date with Arrow videos just like this and if you do go on to enjoy it why not go ahead and like it. Now first of all before we get into the latest synopsis that was released I want to talk about the crossover because there's been so many theories as to what could be going on in Elseworlds and that's the title of it just in case you didn't know. Now just quickly with Elseworlds what could that mean? Well Elseworlds traditionally does mean stories of our iconic characters like the Batman or just other characters characters like that, like the Joker and anyone else, uh, in like stories just set outside traditional canon, for example, Gotham by Gaslight and things like that. So it intrigued everyone the hell out of them uh, to the point of could Elseworlds quite literally mean that our characters, this could be kind of like a standalone story, Elseworlds, you know, a few episodes, uh, which which could be very, very interesting. But I said all of this in my video the other day uh, when I, well, it wasn't the other day, it was a week or so ago, when I went over the whole crossover uh, reveal of the title and stuff like that. But even so, everyone's theories have been, you know, saying, is Oliver Queen, are we still going to get Oliver Queen in, like, a green arrow outfit? But is he going to be wearing, like, the Robin Hood hat and, you know, the, the proper mustache and everything like that? But I don't think, like, anything like that's going to happen. But we, we've got a, a couple of teasers from Stephen Amell anyway. Now, this was on October 2nd, and Stephen Amell said, I finally got fitted for my crossover outfit. Never could have imagined. Now, that, I don't know about you, that's just a few words, but that really, really does just make me think like he never could have imagined being fitted for this outfit and that just makes me think wow what could this costume be for the for Stephen Amell to think like I seriously never thought I could have ever imagined I'd be wearing this one uh so that makes me think and the fans have been going crazy it's like does this mean that he might be the Batman in this Elseworlds crossover I don't as cool as that would be because Stephen Amell like playing the Green Arrow would probably did think oh I, I never would have imagined I'd be playing like the role of the Batman and yes that could be wackily possible because in this universe uh, or in this Elseworlds story that they're, that they're you know uh, going with or that it could be you know different versions of our characters uh in, you know in similar kind of ways you get you get what I mean um he could be like you know playing a Bruce well not Bruce Wayne but Oliver Queen could be something like the Batman I just don't think that's likely because I don't know I think it would be more interesting if it was or more realistic or likely for the showrunners of Arrow or like who ever is you know creatively and the writers controlling the storyline to make these versions of our characters similar uh, but maybe different versions of the comics I'm not sure so I would be more inclined to believe that Stephen Amell got fitted for something like the the, the, tr the traditional Green Arrow costume and the one that some people find kind of cringy uh, and, and could you imagine Oliver Queen kind of running around in tights I don't think it'd be like that but you know it'd be very interesting but there is some stuff that kind of contradict this at the same time that makes me think that it won't be like the Oliver Queen with the Robin Hood hat and and the kind of goatee because he did actually get his beard shaven and that was uh before the crossover or late in time for the filming of the crossover and that does and this is I guess some more news at, at you guys in case you didn't already know that beard that we get in Arrow season seven uh whilst Oliver is in prison seems to be gone now and that really sucks I was really kind of I, I thought like will they won't they like they're doing it for like seven episodes at least um so will they get rid of it or not and and they have and I, I it's just a shame because i guess oliver like it's not like i know the character in person or anything like that but i you know he's never had a beard before in all of the seasons so i guess you know when he gets out of prison once he's kind of cleaned up once he's got you know whatever the heck is going on that gets him you know into the crossover he would shave because i don't know i just feel like that the character wouldn't necessarily want that but then you may ask why did he keep it in prison I don't know. At the same time, it wasn't exactly mega comic book accurate, but it was wicked. And Stephen Amell did, you know, rock that that full bushy beard. And it would have just been badass with him having it. And we do know in the future from Legends of Tomorrow, he did have a very similar beard. So, you know, you never know. He could have kept it, but it seems like he's not keeping it. So that led me to believe, I guess, you know, they're not going with that kind of version. And I am guess you're seeing a picture on screen now. So before I move on to the next thing, guys, what do you think Stephen Amell could mean by saying, finally got fitted for my crossover outfit, never could have imagined 
What could any of you have imagined be fit being fitted for, guys? Let me know. Now, everyone, for like some proper teases and insight into the episodes, which we've got over the past week or so, or maybe a little bit longer. I'm not going to go too deep into the first uh, synopsis. I want to mainly talk about actually the most recent one, because the first one is exactly what we'd expect by saying, following Oliver's shocking decision to turn himself over to the FBI and reveal his identity as the Green Arrow to the public, Oliver has spent the past five months in Slabside Maximum Security Prison, determined to keep a low profile to shorten his sentence for the sake of his family, Oliver is tested when he runs into old foes. And as we all know, this is what I mean. We know all of that. We know that he's going to run into Brick, uh, Bronze Tiger, and, and, and Stardust, and things like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to move on to what we can speculate about and get a little bit more excited about in terms of a couple or few episodes in. The Longbow Hunters episode is what we're about to dive into. Uh, and, and, and obviously, I'm extremely excited about this uh, because the Longbow Hunters are going to be kind of predominantly the main well as it appears to be the overarching villains of the season unless there is a mastermind behind them but they are working in collaboration with Diaz but one of the things we have been kind of teased with in a while is that Oliver is going to meet someone in prison I can't remember if Beth Schwartz said this if I remember correctly they did say it's somebody Oliver used to know I, I really can't remember off the top of my head the source uh, or whenever I talked about that previously but this synopsis definitely clarifies that it is an enemy so the synopsis for the Longbow Hunters guys is as follows Felicity is determined to find Diaz at any cost. In order to track down Diaz from inside prison, Oliver realizes that will require aligning with an old enemy. Meanwhile, in Star City, Felicity's attempts to root out Diaz are thwarted by Diggle, whose allegiance to Argus now requires him to keep civilians like her on the outs. Realizing that she can no longer rely on her old team or old methods, a clear-eyed Felicity resolves to find a new way to go after Diaz. But now this is very interesting, and I feel like we can put the pieces of the puzzle together because in the arrow trailers that we've got up to now uh, we do see that felicity gets attacked in what i get i'm guessing is her apartment and i think most of us are guessing that that is diaz uh, i don't think he goes there to kill her uh, but it's more like um, trying to poke at Oliver that he's in prison and I can do anything to your loved ones whenever I want to. And we know that Oliver is 100% haunted. He said so himself, uh, you know, um, Stephen Amell said so himself in an interview with IGN that he's having nightmares about it all the time and he feels powerless. So by episode two, I think uh, from the promo photos that we saw Felicity having already visited Oliver with uh, bruises all over her face, having been beaten up, which I'm guessing is by Diaz. Oliver, as it states in the synopsis here uh it really wants to track down diaz uh, from inside prison and this is where he's probably not going to keep his head down as much maybe that's a bit early for that but regardless it's going to require him to align himself with an old enemy now this is the interesting thing which old enemy could this be i've seen some quite out there theories already on the internet and and some other theories even unrelated to this well might, might kind of be related but roy might be in prison with oliver i'm really not sure about that and that's possibly how roy could be introduced in this season but i i really i don't think that would be the case uh but at the same time what i will say and what i have always said isn't it a bit too obvious for him to be that new mysterious archer in in the city but at the end of the day, Roy obviously isn't an enemy of Oliver's. So, you know, you could argue maybe after all the BS, at the same time, this is only episode two. I don't think that he would be, um, after all the BS with Bronze Tiger and, and Brick and everyone like that, align himself with them to track Diaz. That seems unlikely because they seem to be the guys... Uh, who are going to antagonize Oliver all the way throughout his time in prison. The thing is, I can't really think of anyone right now because Oliver has put away... Think of all, like, the one freaking shot villains we've had or villains of the week that Oliver has put away. Some have come back a, a season or two later, like those kind of villains. I don't know if it would be one of them. I feel like it would have to be someone more special in terms of not just a villain of the, of the week who managed to come back a couple more times throughout the se seven seasons of Arrow. Uh, maybe that is a possibility. Uh, I, I would love if it was someone like Malcolm Merlin because we didn't see him die. But at the same time, like I remember all the drama behind the scenes. They, they, it, it definitely seemed like he wasn't coming back to the show. That would be pretty cool if somehow he was there. But I do not understand how he would be in a maximum security prison without Oliver or anyone realizing that. That would be very interesting writing for them to have to pull that off to convince me. So what I would love to know, guys, is your opinion in the comments down below. What uh, past enemy of Oliver's 
is going to help him track down uh, Diaz so he can actually help or feel like he's helping protect Felicity who is at danger of uh, getting attacked by Diaz at any moment. But anyway guys that is all the kind of recent news I wanted to discuss in this video. Let me know if you wanted me to talk about anything else. I'll see if I could post another Arrow video very soon but other than that guys let me know just absolutely everything uh, you think about what I said in today's video in terms of like who you think that villain could be, uh, what you think you know Oliver's costume he could be fitted for in the crossover could be because there's a billion other theories especially it being titled Elseworld you could just go on forever about it but anyway if you like this video i'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you're brand new for more arrow videos just like this and as always links are in the description down below if you want to follow me on social media or anything like that but as always thank you so much for watching i hope you vigilantes have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye